Welcome back everybody, I'm Andre, and today we are going to take this pork belly and we are going to stuff it. And I'm not going to waste any time, we're just going to dive right in and show you how to do it. I'm not going to explain how to cure it, I'm going to put the link above to how I got to this point. Uh, as you can see, very lean belly, this still has the rind on. And all we're going to do is take a sharp knife and go underneath the rind to create a pocket. I'm going to leave about a, the best I can about an inch on each side and the end. We only want one hole to fill it and we're going to tie it up after. This was a family specialty when we had the business a long time ago. And I'm just going to try and make my own version of it. So you need a nice sharp knife and just take your time because you don't want to poke any holes. It's better to take your time at this point and not screw it up. So I'm just taking the knife nice and easy. Creating that pocket as you can see it's uh... Anyways I'm going to continue because this is kind of boring. And uh, we'll get to the next step then. Okay, got that done. So you can see, I'm gonna put my hand in here. We got a nice pocket. And I'm gonna show you there. So that is done. Now we're gonna make the filling. And all I'm gonna do for the filling is actually make uh, an all pork sausage. So I've got some very nice lean pork here. I got some pork fat. We're gonna take this, we're gonna grind it and mix some spices in and I've got a couple special ingredients that I'm going to add to this once this is all ground. Okay, here we go. We got this all going. I'm gonna add the salt. I am using curing salt or pickling salt because I want it to be pink. So we're gonna add this first and get this started. Gonna add the spices. And now we're gonna add the water. Okay, that's good enough for now, and uh, back to the grinder. And I said I got two more special ingredients. I've got green pistachios, they've been shelled and uh, the skin's taken off. And I've got brined green peppercorns. Took me a while to find these bad boys, but I finally did. So we're gonna get these in here. Add about half. And now I'm just gonna really get there, get in here and uh, mix this really good. Looks great, smells great. And uh, it's time to actually fill the belly now. There's no trick to this. What you could do, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm only doing a half a piece. You could actually fill your stuffer and put the horn under the skin here and fill it that way. I'm just doing it by hand because I'm only doing a small one today. Thing is, get in there, fill it the best you can. Oh, this is gonna look awesome. Try to pound out as much of the air as possible. You still might have some air pockets, but that's, you really can't do much about that. That is beautiful. Now, we're not gonna leave the end open like this. We're gonna take some good old butcher twine and do some sewing. Because we want this, because the meat will expand and it would come out, it just wouldn't be pretty. So what we're gonna do is 
Going through the rind is the hard part, actually. <laughs> I'm going to leave some at the end because I can tie it off. There we go. It's a little awkward. But anyways, I think you get the point. I'm going to keep doing this. There you go. I'm going to show you here. It's all sealed up. Look at that beautiful thing. And this is why I said leave about an inch around because you need this to hold everything together. If you go less than that, it might tear apart. Now, I'm just gonna get the smoker started and all we're gonna do is put this in there between 225 and 250 and we're only gonna cook this to an internal of 71, 72 degrees Celsius just to make sure it's fully cooked and then it's ready. Welcome outside everybody. Here it is and let's get it in the smoker. And it is a beautiful spring day here in Ontario. So I am gonna put it on the hotter side. Doo -doo. Just like this. That there for now. That looks fantastic. And uh, in it goes. What we're gonna do, we're gonna leave it in there for at least two hours and then come back and check on it. Okay everybody, we are at just over two hours and uh, let's take the first look at this bad boy. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Ooh, that is looking fantastic. But what I'm gonna do, trusty thermometer, I wanna know where we're at. So, here we go. We got a ways to go. We're at 41.9 degrees Celsius, so I got a, a little ways to go. Anyways, we're gonna get them back in and uh, keep going. We are back inside everybody and this thing looks beautiful, but like any roast, you have to cover it and let it rest for half an hour. I'm gonna let it go for at least 45 minutes to chill out and then we're gonna cut this bad boy. I am so excited. Okay people, the waiting's over. It's rested for like 40 minutes and uh, it's time to cut this bad boy. A little bit of juice leaked out, but that's, that's pretty good. So remember, we filled it this way, so I'm just gonna cut it right in half. Make sure we've got a good view there. Yeah, skin's a little tough, but that's okay. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That just looks awesome. Want to dive in? I got to tr try this now. I'm super excited about this one. The skin got a little bit hard because what we used to do, we used to cook this, let it cool down, and then slice it as a cold cut. I'm not gonna. Anyways, I'm not gonna eat the rind because it's too hard that way. That's good. Mm. The pork belly is awesome because it's cured and it's got all that salt and flavor it's developed over the curing period. The, the filling is great too. You know with those pistachios and green peppercorns in there? Mm. So good. Well guys, I'm gonna go eat now. Thanks for watching. I really hope you had fun with this one. Something totally different and you probably haven't seen this before, but that's cool because I've got lots of ideas for other things. Try it though, it's fun. That's just a fantastic presentation.
if you had guests over. And it didn't take too long in the smoker. It's awesome. Again, thanks for watching and uh, happy eating.